Larry Bird was a dedicated and committed member of the Boston Celtics during the 80s and 90s, resulting in one of the greatest careers in NBA history. He made everyone around him exponentially better with his high IQ passing, relentless shooting and scoring, and his instincts on the defensive end. His rivalry with Magic Johnson that spilled over from college is regarded as one of the few ways the NBA was saved in the 1980s. No one can belittle his accomplishments, and many players have been left in awe of his game. Today's video will be about NBA players talking about how insanely good Larry Bird was. Bird had an impact on the game that every modern-day player should be thankful for. You have to be pretty darn talented to rival a player like Magic Johnson, as well as take home three MVP awards, three championships, and two finals MVP awards. Each of their legacies speaks for itself, and will be remembered forever in NBA history. Today, we'll discuss comments made by NBA players who recognize Larry Bird's legendary status. Before we begin today, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more interesting NBA content. Let's keep rolling! Michael Jordan entered the NBA at the height of the Magic Johnson and Larry Bird rivalry. As the Chicago Bulls were in the East Conference, his airness was pitted against Larry Legend numerous times in the regular season and the playoffs. The Celtics' superior roster and experience allowed Bird to have a distinct edge over Jordan in head-to-head -head battles. However, Bird wasn't just relying on his team to carry him. It was the other way around as the Celtics franchise player made the Green Machine one of the best teams ever in NBA history. Jackie McMullen, in the Ringer's Icons Club, pulled up a classic of what Michael Jordan thought of his rival. I get so many questions about Larry Bird. The thing is, was he really that good? I say, yeah, he was really that good. White, black, green, or yellow, he was really that good. When you see a player like Luka, when you see a player like Dirk, they're great players, but they're not Larry Bird by no means. You have to have a great appreciation to play against a guy who, athletically, every single night is at a disadvantage. But yet, mentally, and in the way his work ethic was, he was way above the game. He was way above everybody else. Coming from Michael Jordan himself, that was the ultimate praise any player could get. Considered by many to be the best to play the game, MJ had a front row ticket to the legendary exploits of the man who was truly the Great White Hope for the Boston Celtics. Even more mind-boggling was Larry Bird's performance from 1980 to 1989. He was already a dark horse for the MVP in his rookie season and never dropped below fourth place in the annual Best Player Award. Larry Legend was a lock in the top two in the MVP voting for six straight seasons. Rex Chapman said he hated Larry Bird before he came around and acknowledged Bird's greatness. Appearing on The Rich Eisen Show, the basketball analyst and podcaster recalled entering the NBA in 1988 as Bird was starting to suffer from back issues. I don't know why, I just hated Larry Bird, Chapman said. I was a Dr. J, Julius Irving guy. Chapman said he soon learned that Bird was different. He recalled a Charlotte Hornets Boston Celtics game from his second season, 1989 to 90. Jerry Seasting told us in Shoot Around, Larry doesn't think anyone 6'6 and under can guard him. He takes offense to it. Seasting, a Martinsville High School and Purdue alum and former Indiana Pacers player, had been a teammate of Birds in Boston and was with the Charlotte Hornets at the time. We put Kelly Tripucka on him and we go out for the jump ball, Chapman said. Larry looked at the rest of us and said, you guys are putting Tripucka on me? Chapman said Bird started calling out his own plays and scored or assisted on Boston's first four possessions. We no longer had Tripucka on him. There are only so many greats who can go out there and mess around with the game and still be great, Chapman said. Bird's performance, even with back issues, frustrated Chapman. I liked guarding him until he scored because he wasn't athletic. He was slow, Chapman said. You can keep him in front of you. And he still scored. And where does Bird rank all time with Chapman? Anytime anybody puts out a top five without Larry in it, I go, what are you doing? He was amazing. LeBron James is mentioned in the GOAT conversation more than any other player barring Michael Jordan since he won against the Golden State Warriors improbably with the Cleveland Cavaliers in 2016. Returning to his hometown team and delivering a championship after decades of failure against the winningest regular season team in NBA history 
convinced several people that LBJ might be the GOAT. James himself may agree at this juncture in his career, but that was not always the case. 2013 saw James win his second ever NBA championship with the Miami Heat and in an interview during that year, he was asked who he thinks the top three players of all time are. LeBron didn't include himself, but his choices were pretty interesting nonetheless. Best three players of all time? Michael Jordan? Wow, this is tough. Michael Jordan, Dr. J, Larry Bird. On December 16, 2017, LeBron James passed Larry Bird in all-time triple doubles. After the game, LeBron tried to downplay the accomplishment, saying it was just humbling for him to be mentioned among the game's greats and talked about Larry where we see how much respect he has for him. For young guys that don't know him, they think of him as a jump shooter, but he was so much more than that. He was a passer, averaged double-digit rebounds, he defended, he took charges, and a complete basketball player. In his book, When the Game Was Ours, Magic reflected on his time in the league and his encounters with Bird. A section of the book narrates how Johnson closely followed Bird's game, keeping track of his activities and successes. In the book, the five-time NBA champion describes the Boston Celtics legend as a measuring stick. He referenced the 1984 NBA Finals against the Celtics and how Bird led the team to the title in the Best of Seven series. When I got to the NBA and played for the Lakers, I watched as many Celtics games as I could so I could keep track of what he was doing, Johnson said. He became my measuring stick. The first time we played head-to-head -head in the finals in 1984, Larry got the best of me. It took me years to get over it. Actually, I'm not sure I'm over it yet. Bird anchored Boston's sustained success behind his dominance on the court. It pitted the Celtics against their hated rival Lakers, leading to numerous memorable battles between the historic franchises. The fierce competition developed a strong level of respect toward Bird. Hall of Famer Kareem Abdul-Jabbar stated on In The Zone podcast with Fox Sports' Chris Broussard on November 27, 2021, that Bird separated himself behind his high basketball IQ. The best guy I've played against might have been Larry Bird, Abdul-Jabbar said. People don't appreciate Larry Bird enough. They think he is a chubby white guy, but he would wear us down. The muscle that is in between his ears was the best because he made three points, assisted, rebounded, and had steals. He was always in the right place at the right time. He is, without a doubt, one of the best players I've had ever played against. Bird's career may have been cut short, but he definitely made the most of his 13 seasons. He was named MVP for three straight years, from 1984 through 1986. Over that stretch, he averaged 26.2 PPG, 10.1 RPG, and 6.7 APG while sealing two titles for the Celtics. He also led them to a championship in 1981. Despite back issues that forced him to retire in 1992, Bird was still an effective player for Boston during that time and a member of the 1992 U.S. Men's Olympic Dream Team. Many consider Bird to be a top five player to ever play in the NBA. And what is your opinion? Do you think Larry Bird belongs in the top five NBA players of all time? Do you think he would be dominant if he played now? I would love to hear what you guys think, so please let me know what you think in the comments. Oh, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing NBA content. Thanks for watching.